Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be taking part in the hashtag Cheap PC Challenge 2022. Before I go any further with this video, I do want to add a big disclaimer. The videos on my channel are normally retro and vintage PC based. This one is going to be the newest PC you'll probably ever see on this channel. Probably the only Windows 10 machine, but for the fun of taking part in the challenge, I figured I'd had to give it a go. The challenge was set up by Amber from Tech Ambrosia. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, make sure to give it a look once you watch this video. The rules of the challenge were you only had $100 to spend and this needed to include motherboard, RAM, CPU, CPU cooler, video card and main boot drive. Cases, operating systems and other extra drives you wanted to add, they all didn't count towards the total cost. Let's get on with a time lapse of the build and then I'll discuss the parts I used, how much they cost and the tests that I need to do. Over the course of the challenge, the exchange rate has fluctuated quite a lot, so going forward I'll be using today's rate of $1.22 to £1. The first component purchased was the PSU, an EVGA 600 W2. I got it for a great price from a members market in a popular tech forum. This will be more than enough for my needs here. Next up, a combo consisting of motherboard, CPU, heatsink and RAM. The motherboard is an ASRock H81M-DGS. Nothing special about the board, but it is still capable and will support up to i7 CPUs. The CPU included is an i3-4160. This CPU runs at 3.6GHz with 2 cores and 4 threads, and will be plenty for the tasks of the challenge. The memory is just a generic 4GB stick running at 1333MHz. Also included was an Intel stock cooler, which is plenty for the CPU. Buying all these components as one big lot allowed me to save quite a bit of money, which I could use for other parts of the build. And here was the hardest part of the build to pick. Over the last few weeks I had lowballed many eBay sellers, but was not having any luck. Eventually I was able to make a deal on this Radeon 7850 2GB. Not as powerful as I, was hope as I had hoped for, but still a capable GPU and more than up to the task at hand. Last up is the boot drive. It just had to be an SSD for my own sanity, and I was able to find this one for a great price, keeping the total build cost very low. All of these parts will be fitted into this period correct Sharkoon case. I will also add a 500GB Western Digital Blue hard drive for added storage. As for OS, I will install Windows 10 Pro. Now it's time for the tests. I have sped them up for the video, however the scores will be shown in real time and also displayed at the end.
So here are the results from the tests. The Unigen score was 6,616. The Cinebench multi-core score was 3.83 and single core score 1.55. The average time to load the 100 page Google document was 8.11 seconds. The total cost of the build was $87.39, quite a bit lower than the original $100 budget. Taking part in this challenge has been great fun and very different from our usual retro parts hunting. This PC is even proving itself as an entry level gaming PC for some current games. Games such as Fortnite run great and even Apex Legends can be tuned to achieve 60fps. For under $100 it really is quite surprising just what you can build. Since recording this video I have also ordered another 4 gigs of RAM and an i5-4590 for only an extra £11. This will make it a great entry level or esports PC and have no sweat doing browsing style tasks. As always, thanks for watching and if you've made it this far please consider hitting like and subscribing.